Hey carnivores, welcome back. Al from Eat More Vegans here. You know, the most popular videos on this channel are our lamb videos. Our lamb shoulder videos got almost 20,000 views. Lamb shoulder chops, over 5,000 views. You guys really seem to love lamb videos. And I got my hands on some lamb sirloin steaks and I looked on YouTube to try to figure out how the best ways and other chefs were doing to make them. And you know what? I couldn't find anybody that was able to tell us how to do it. So I did a bunch of research. I practiced quite a bit. And uh, I'm here to tell you that steak made from the lamb sirloin is amazing. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. So stick around by the end of this video, you're gonna know the best way to prepare a lamb sirloin steak. It's gonna be moist, tender, and yummy. Stick around, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, let's jump right in. So I have here eight free range lamb sirloin fillets. You can get these from your butcher. Uh, if you wanna get the stuff that I use, you can get them from D'Artagnan. I'll put a link down in the description as I always do. Um, but these are incredibly lean pieces of meat, which makes them a little bit challenging. So let's go ahead and start by trimming these up. So starting with this one, you can see that there's a little bit of a fat vein running up here. That's no big deal, but there is some silver skin over here. You know, if you've been watching for a while that silver skin is our enemy, it toughens things up. And also the way that this is trimmed, there's a little bit of extra meat hanging up here that's just not gonna cook right. So we're just gonna do a quick trim here. We're gonna take off the pieces that are hanging off. We're gonna leave the fat because that's gonna be flavor. And I'm just gonna get this little tiny bit of silver skin here. Just gonna get underneath it with my knife and remove it. There's not a lot to trim here, but this is a nicely trimmed piece of uh, lamb sirloin. Okay, so eight nicely trimmed lamb sirloin steaks. Now let's go ahead and start working on our rub. All right, let's get started on our wet rub. Now, uh, if you've watched before, you've seen me show you how to avoid oxidation, how to avoid the development of that strong lamb taste. Well, today we're gonna embrace it. We're gonna be making a wet rub that's a Middle Eastern, kind of a Moroccan flavor profile. And for that, we wanna actually bring out that flavor of the lamb and enhance it with a whole bunch of spices that are gonna create a really, really wonderful flavor profile. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with a tablespoon of coriander seeds. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grind those up here in the food processor. Okay, so we got a nice rough flake of coriander. And then I'm gonna put in one and a half tablespoons of cumin, a tablespoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of black pepper, and then a half tablespoon of Spanish smoked paprika, a half tablespoon of mustard powder, a half tablespoon of granulated garlic, and a half tablespoon of onion powder. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of flavor out of that. Now let's go ahead and mix all of this together. Okay, now we're gonna turn this into our wet rub. So I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. Now the reason that I'm using avocado oil, I know you guys see me use it when I'm doing high heat searing. That's actually not it, but uh, avocado oil is really uh, rich in uh, unsaturated fats. So this one uh, for, uh, for one tablespoon has uh, two grams of polyunsaturated fat, 10 grams of monounsaturated fat. And we need to add these fats and these are way healthier uh, fats than adding saturated fat. So not only do I get the oil, but I get the benefit of additional fat that we're adding to the lamb. So by the way, this isn't a keto cooking show, but those of you who are following keto cooking uh, and uh, keto uh, program are gonna find that recipes like this one are just wonderful. They've got the right healthy fats and there's not any sugar in the stuff that I use when I'm making lamb. We're gonna add a little bit more. We're just doing this a little bit at a time until we have a paste. Probably in for three or four tablespoons so far. This should be enough. All right, 
So you can see I've got a nice wet consistency on here. Um, good ratio of oil to the spices. So let's go get the lamb and we'll get the uh, wet rub on it. All right, I got the lamb back out of the fridge. Let's get some of this wet rub on it. I wish I could tell you guys how excited I am about this. Um, this recipe I've been working on for weeks and it is going to be ridiculous. So we wanna use all of the wet rub that we just made. Uh, notice that I don't have such a thing as a clean hand when I'm doing this. I'm just gonna rub it all over. We wanna get full coverage of the rub on all sides of the steaks. So we'll get these top parts covered. And then we'll turn these over and we'll get the other sides. Now, unlike with steak, there's no fat cap or some of the bigger beef or pork cuts. So we really do want to get it all over because it's going to infuse the flavor with the smoke. And this way we get just a great crust that's got a wonderful flavor and this penetrates all the way into the meat. So all the way in, we're going to have this great Middle Eastern Moroccan flavor profile. Okay, these look like they're ready to go. I'll meet you at the grill. Hey, welcome to the backyard, the land of grills. If you've been here before, you know Darth, the extra large big green egg. Uh, Darth is running at 225 degrees, running uh, Fogo premium hardwood charcoal with pecan chunks for flavor. That pecan's really gonna go well with the spice mix that we created. So let's go ahead and get these on the grill. Now notice I'm putting the largest one towards the back because in a big green egg, the hottest spot is in the back of the grill. And I'm putting the smallest ones up front. And you'll also notice I've got temperature probes in a couple of these that go into my thermal work signals. So not only am I controlling the temperature of the grill, but I'm also tracking the temperature of the cook. Now medium rare for lamb is 145 degrees, a little bit more than it is uh, for steak where you wanna be in the 130, 135 range. So since we're gonna sear these when we're done, we're gonna bring these up to just shy of that, probably about 135 degrees, and then we'll come out, take them off, let them rest, and uh, get the grill ready for searing. So I will see you in probably an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. We're not gonna touch these until the app tells me that we're approaching 135 degrees. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and the signals is telling me that we are right at 135 degrees on all of the lamb steaks that we're monitoring. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. We're gonna throw them in a tray and let them rest with a loose foil cover while we get the grill set up for direct searing. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna open up the top vent and I'm gonna adjust the uh, Thermoworks app and uh, tell the Thermoworks signals to bring Darth up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So we should get right out of 500 degrees grate temperature, which would be perfect for searing lamb, getting a great Maillard reaction. It's gonna take probably 10 minutes to come up to speed, so I'll be right back.
Hey Leah, it's lamb day. Woo! Woo All right, so today I made lamb sirloin steaks. It's like a steak, but made out of lamb. And instead of doing a dry rub like I usually do on steaks, I did a wet rub that's Moroccan style, so like from Morocco. Do you know where Morocco is? No, where is it from? So Morocco is in the Middle East in North Africa, and some of the most flavorful, amazing food comes out of there, especially lamb and goat. Last time I was in Morocco, I ate a goat head. <laughs> that kind of doesn't sound that like Yeah, we're probably not going to do goat head on the show, but the lamb steaks I'm looking forward to. So, should we give them a try? Yeah. All right. All right, you're going to take that piece. I'll take uh, this piece. Actually, this one's for you. I forgot. So cheers. Yeah, that one's for you. And uh, I'll take this one right here. Ready? Cheers and cheers. cheers. Mm. What do you think? It tastes really good. Cool. Yeah, I, it's a totally different flavor profile than you've ever had, right? There's there's cumin and coriander and paprika and all kinds of spices and avocado oil. Yeah. yeah, so all right, so let's do the taste. MTY, right? M, is it moist? Yep. T, tender? Yeah, clearly you're taking a bite out of it, right? And I'm, can I guess from the fact that you're already taking the second piece that it's yummy? Yep. Okay, you got the MTY, that's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this, I think you should definitely check out this one right here. This video is a lamb shoulder that lots of people have loved to watch. That one's got almost 20,000 views already. Uh, check it out. It's a great video. And we'll see you next week here on Eat More Vegans.